Hi everyone, my name is Ruben and I'm the founder of Practical Analytics. And today I wanted to walk you through a bit of a comparison of different tools that you can use to do product messaging or marketing messaging. Uh, this is a pretty common request these days. Uh, specifically, companies will say, you know, hey, we, we want to improve our onboarding flow, uh, you know, after you should sign up. And to do that, one of the things we want to do is send messages. Uh, so that might be email messages or SMS, uh, text, or maybe push notifications if you're on uh, mobile devices, if you're using mobile devices, or maybe in-app messages, whether it's on mobile and you can also, you can also do in-app messages on web. And the, the point is, you know, send, <clears throat> send those messages at maybe very specific actions or points uh, and then guide users uh, along a certain path or journey you want to take them. So there's, there's really lots of, like, there's lots of tools to do this, just like anything. Uh, you could probably find 10, 20, 30 options that will all do very similar things. Uh, so I picked the, the three that we hear a lot about or we get asked a lot about. Um, and that is Intercom, which you can see in front of me. Um, Customario, which is uh, also uh, a bit of an older player. And then what used to be called Outbound.io and they got bought by Sendesk. It's called Sendesk Connect now. Um, and just off the top of my mind, I, you know, I, I hear a lot about companies like Braze. Um, Mixpanel, of course, has a, a messaging function built into it. Uh, I think Pendomite. Um, so there's, there really is. So, so really, what, you know, we'll look at, we'll look at three options. But as we go through, then you can start to see some of the, the general principles or ideas of how uh, we compare them and how you can do the same. So let's start with, let's start right away with Intercom. And the first thing we like to look at when we see a tool is just understand what are some of the use cases uh, they seem to be pitching. Uh, and you can do this by just looking at the marketing website, right? Um, either by looking at case studies or, or just even just the general sales marketing pages, right? So Intercom really from, from its very beginning has, has been focused a lot on sales marketing. Uh, they now have some support uh, with some you know, um, help desk articles. But to me, it's always seemed that a big of the focus was sales marketing um, from the beginning. And that was with uh, some of the chat, the, the little chat box, which is sort of what makes Intercom uh, famous, what people maybe know Intercom for, right? You can click the little chat box and talk to someone, right? Uh, so that, that tends to be focused on leads. Uh, someone has a question, they wanna, they wanna talk to someone in the sales team. Close that. Uh, and then the, the messages. So someone, once someone becomes a customer, or once you have their email address or something else, then you you know be able to send them messages uh, across different channels, right? And like I said, you know they added some support uh, recently, uh, but though this two this two seems to be the major use cases and really what we've seen them be used for the most. Then we have Send Us Connect um, or Albanio, and Albanio from the beginning was really focused on product messaging, so once a user be, uh, became a user, once they give you the email address, once they sign up, then you want to be able to send them messages uh, across the different, uh, very similar channels that Intercom had. And you know they all have logic uh, based on actions that they have taken. Now, after being bought by Sendus Connect, they now seem to be functioning uh, really more of a, a, custom, a custom support role being, you know, being part of the Sendus universe, right? Where you have, um, people uh, submit the tickets and like that, and now you can also message them. Maybe do some preemptive action uh, to to prevent tickets or 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 to help your um, your customer support people. Right? You can still, of course, uh, tie people. You know, it's tied with some of the you know the I know Santos has a, a little widget too. Um, so it's, it's, it can still be used in the same way. But again, from from our perspective, it, it seems to be much more geared for customer support, less so for sales and marketing. And thirdly, we have Customario. So Customario is, is a player that I also seen uh, for quite some time. Uh, not as popular as some of the newer players. And that tends to be, you know, their, their focus has been on email uh, for a long time. Uh, so you can do marketing emails, transaction emails. And then they, you know, they added an idea of uh, going beyond email by doing some, some integrations, um, Urban Airship, Sapier, and a few other things. But they, they're sort of the bread and butter is email. Uh, they still have the same logic, you know, you can have you can send messages based on things users did or didn't do, or maybe properties, um, and and tackle the different aspects of of, uh, of email. A couple of limitations that really 
uh, stand up for customer iOS. They they don't have uh, mobile apps. Um, they you know they they of course don't really do much for custom support in terms of help articles and things like that. Uh, but for email, they tend they to be quite good. So this might be something that might not be the best fit for a software company, uh, but maybe for a, a non-software company, uh, maybe like an e-commerce company, might actually be better suited uh, for some of the customer area. Right? Um, you know, again, we can see some of the, uh, you know, some of some of the use cases do show software companies. Um, but you know, if they have mobile apps, uh, like for example, I you know Reddit has mobile apps, uh, they will have to make some kind of integration to be able to handle that, right? So we'll talk about, about that too. Okay, so now let's look at uh, the support for messages, right? That is, what kind of messages can you send? Uh, so this day, is, there, there is really four types that uh, companies will look for. Uh, email, SMS, uh, text, uh, push notifications, which is for mobile apps, or in-app uh, messages. And an app can be an app on a mobile app, which is usually the most common, or you can do an app on the web. Uh, and an app on the web tends to look something like this, actually, maybe like a little widget here. Um, you might have seen um, uh, the notifications. Um, I think Urban Airship does them, you know, when people ask you to send notifications and you get little things, or maybe kind of what, what Slack does uh, on Mac to, to give you a notification. All right, Chrome has notifications too. Anyway, those kind of notifications uh, on, on, on desktop. Uh, so Intercom uh, supports uh, all of them. Uh, they support email, they support, uh, let's jump here into the messages product. You know, they, they support email, they support uh, push notifications, uh, and of course they have the in-app portion with the widget, right? Um, and for SMS, they, they, they recommend an integration with Twilio. Uh, so Twilio is, uh, you know, a platform for uh, being able to deliver phone calls and SMS. So you have to set that up uh, through them. Uh, so that will take uh, some implementation work, but if you really want SMS, that will be the way to do it. Right? Uh, for Sendesk, uh, their their support is also very similar. Right. So we'll have email as as a foundational one. Then the uh, the website portion, you know, through the Sendesk web widget, which is very similar to what Endocom has. Then we have push notifications or mobile mobile push notifications, SMS. Uh, same thing, you know, that is asking you to provide an SMS provider account. Uh, this will be something like Twilio, right? Uh, and Webhook is really more about, you know, uh, in integrating with another system, right? And really, all three of them will help you integrate with other systems. But one of the things you want to think about is how complex it's going to be to set up uh, a specific channel, right? So if uh, if you want to do SMS. How complex is that integration? Is it just a matter of copying and pasting some API keys or something else? Or do you really have to go out of your way and build an entire integration with something else just to be able to send SMS, right? Customer email, we know again, their, their bread and butter is email. That's, that's their main support. So let's look a little bit beyond email, right? Uh, so we have email, we have webhooks. You know, webhooks is for integrated, just like we saw before. And then, you know, we can do Twilio for SMS. Urban Airship, which is actually for uh, in-app notifications like web and so on. And then Slack and Sapier for anything else. So we're really seeing really strong support with email. And if you want anything else, uh, you have to do it yourself, right? You have to integrate either with the directory API or find something maybe within Sapier or something else that can, that can help you do that, right? Okay. So based on that, you know, for, for software companies, uh, that have mobile apps or cross-platform, right? They may have a mobile app or a web app. Uh, Intercom tends to stand out as a really solid option. It's, um, they get great marketing, right? I find their, the marketing has, has been quite good, despite what was a, a confusing product set. Uh, they, they, they've changed their products a little bit. They organize them a little bit differently over the past couple of years. Um, now I think that the products do make uh, quite a bit of sense. Uh, Sendesk, you know, would be a great recommendation if you're already in the Sendesk world. That is, if you have Sendesk uh, for ticket uh, support, maybe you have a few other things. Sendesk has a few um, tools now in your suite. So if you have a few of those, that could also be a good fit. Just naturally, you're going to be part of the same uh, universe of tools, right? And if you're, you know, if you're really just focused on email, uh, maybe let's say SMS uh, with an easy integration here, customer email could be a good fit. Uh, again, just purely from the messages component, right? 
Uh, now let's look at pricing to understand what uh, what it will cost to send different things. So in Intercom, we have you know the three product idea, right? We have the messages, you know the 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 message message across different channels, inbox, which is what lets you do this little thing here that I keep closing and it keeps popping up, right? Uh, to do leads and conversations, um, and then articles, which is you know, like a help desk function. And we'll more or less ignore articles for this comparison, just because you know customer real doesn't have it. Send us has it technically through a different tool, but we're really focused on, on, on messages, right? On, on being able to send uh, targeted messages. So uh, you pay a, a monthly fee for a product, right? Uh, and then there is, um, uh, sorry, um, there's a monthly fee for the product, which is, is, is tied to actual, uh, is tied to people, right? Um, so the number of active people that you want to message, right? So we here's messages. We can see the number of people that you're trying to message. And this might be getting different messages over time. Uh, so it might be an initial sequence of onboarding, and maybe you want to message them later on, and so on. So uh, it's a number, uh, a user's amount here. Uh, for inbox, uh, we have seats. Uh, so the idea of how many uh, people can respond to the messages, right? How many people can be on the, on the chat. And articles is uh, a fixed monthly price, right? For that, let me quickly do a quick, you know, the the, the different uh, plans here: the essential, the pro, and the premium. Uh, let's just look at the different differences real quick. Uh, so being able to A/B test messages, uh, smart campaigns is an interesting feature of Intercom where you give them the messages. Let's say you say, um, "Here are the five messages you want to send. Here's our goal." Uh, and the goal might be like an event, you know, maybe they sign up for uh, a subscription and then Intercom will figure out the right order to send those messages in. So uh, it could be an interesting way to experiment on when, um, how, the, how to structure the order of the messages. Right. Uh, Salesforce tends to be, you know, uh, Salesforce integration tends to always be enterprise. Delivery windows, interesting future. You know, you want to send the messages only between 8 a.m. and, and uh, 10 a.m. Uh, DKMI for spam that also tends to be more enterprise. So we see a lot of things on the maybe more enterprise use case, maybe more premium use case. Uh, but so that's a little bit of the difference in terms of price, right? Uh, it's such a pro and premium what they uh, what they probably consider the enterprise uh, solution. So you know, let's say you know for a thousand people or a thousand users, well, that's got quite low. Let's say let's say for ten thousand users, you know, you're you're, you're paying about about two hundred dollars a month uh, to be able to message those people uh, for the messages. So let's use that as a number to compare. Let's quickly look at Sendesk Connect here. Uh, and same here, you know, uh, Sendesk has a very simple user pricing, just like uh, just like Intercom does. So let's go look at that same ten thousand number. And uh, we get about uh, 400 uh, from here, right? The interesting thing about Sendesk is their, you know, the what what the what you know this difference to here, right? The the message users versus active users. Um, so really, someone who re who receives a message. Um, so I could see you know Sendesk Connect having a slightly lower price and as a whole, um, depending on how many actual get messages, you know, you might have, let's say, um, 5,000 users in that foreign account, they all get a message that month, but next month only 1,000 of them get a message, right? Um, so that'll be something something to consider. And then lastly, let's look at customer IO here. Uh, so here we have the idea of users, not message users, but just users. Uh, so we have the basic product, you know, up to a thousand, um, 100k users for 100 a month, right? And the premium option, which is uh, their their enterprise option, you know, we have onboarding a few other things uh, for a thousand a month. Uh, so customer IO, let's see, go look for our same. So the the minimum is 12k, so it's about you know 150 a month there, uh, so almost in line with what Intercom has. And the third area we'll, we'll tend to look at is actually the implementation portion. That is, how hard is it to implement? 
So let's quickly do a dive here into the developers portal for Intercom. Uh, Intercom, I will say, has probably one of the most extensive documentation I've seen. They, they really build them out. Um, and you have uh, also the App Store uh, component here where they have a lot of different uh, app integrations. Uh, that's something that uh, Sandisk has a little bit, Customer Area has a little bit, but uh, Intercom really has the most integrations. So if you want to do a quick integration with something like Slack, let's say to send messages into a Slack channel, that'll be quite easy to do. Uh, so for the docs itself, you know, we'll tend to look at what are some of the libraries that are available, right? Uh, so we, we want, let's say, a JavaScript library for anything we want to do on the web. We want to see some, uh, some, um, some libraries for a backend, maybe Ruby or Python or something else. Uh, and then, of course, mobile libraries, uh, if they support that, right? So Intercom, Intercom does have uh, all that. Let's see where we can... You know, the, the REST API, here we go, REST API plugins. So we can see right away, you know, we have all the expected backend libraries we want. Rails, here's the mobile SDK. Um, and of course, there's just a JavaScript library uh, that we can that we can use. Let's see if it's under here. REST API. Got it, okay. Um, so yeah, so pretty quite quite extensive uh, options for be able to send data into the common. You know, the data you, you'll be sending here will be things like events, uh, user attributes, and other things. Uh, so that's 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 really quite good. Uh, let's see, let's go find the same thing here. And support support. Not trading. Let's do something this particular thing. Now, all of them will, will tend to have an API you can you can work with, right? They can send data to. So we don't really compare on that. We assume that if we wanted to work directly with the, directly with the API, we could do that. The point is to find SDKs that could make that a little easier. Uh, so we see again, Sentence Connect, we have the some of the backend libraries here. Here's a JavaScript library, mobile libraries, um, uh, an integration with Segment, uh, which they built right uh, right away. There's one with Ampa2 as well, and some other libraries. So again, this will also be a, a pretty easy integration on their end. Uh, one of the questions we would have with something like like send this connect though will be how much uh, of this library screen updated after the acquisition, right? Uh, you can of course see a lot of the outbound names still in the in the code. So what would be the plan for them to update this to eventually match the send desk uh, format? Right? That'll be something that will be on our mind for implementation. And then customer IO, let's go. So we, again, we have the RESTful API. Uh, we want to see. Let's go look at the API here. So this is all the API endpoints. Cool, okay. So we see JavaScript here. We see backend libraries. Uh, no, not a lot of integration with other things like segment, um, but we will see uh, we will see how extensive their the JavaScript is. You know, uh, the actual implementation work is very similar to what you see at something like Mixpanel or Amplitude. Really, any event tracking analytics tool. You know, you have uh, uh, events, you have uh, user attributes, you identify users, and so on. Uh, so, really, from from the implementation perspective, uh, all three of them will be very similar. Uh, if you look at just, let's say, integrations, like an, like an app store or integrating with different tools, Intercom will, will do much better. And that's, that's really it. That's, that's, how we, that's how we tend to build um, comparison charts internally. Um, something else we tend to do is we'll tend to talk to sales reps at the different tools and just get a sense of what they think they're good at, what some of the weaknesses, 
what's some of the things that they should uh, companies should avoid if, if they want, uh, if they're considering an intercom or, or send this connect and customer uh, But as a whole, all three tools are, are quite good. Um, if you had to make a, 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 not, um, a recommendation for, say, a software company, a cross platform software company, we likely lean towards intercom just for their extensive support. If we're talking to a more e commerce company that might be, that might only need email. Um, maybe wants to do other things with transactional email, right? Like, uh, you know, e-commerce tends to have a lot of transactional emails uh, uh, in regards to orders, uh, order confirmation, shipments, and so on. Uh, customer email would be a good fit there. Um, and Send Us Connect would be a good fit for someone who might want, make it small, who might want the same uh, message capability, but they already have some existing tools from the Send Desk, uh universe. Uh, so in that, in that case, uh, send this connect will actually be a really good fit there. Uh, you already have a lot of data inside send desk. Let's just add a few other product, just add the connect product, right? This is sort of the send universe. You tend to have a lot of things around customer support. Uh, so if you already have a lot of these tools, uh, send this connect is a, is a logical upgrade to that. Perfect. Let me know if you have any questions.